Hi everyone, welcome to another episode with Papadum to Pizza. This is our second episode in our beauty segment. I'm not sure about you all, but when it comes to beauty products, I'm a novice. So what have we got today? So today's episode is all about foundations, where Tina will be explaining to us the different types of foundations available in the market and the best ways to apply them. I'm sure you're all excited, just like me. So without further delay, let's get into the video. Hi everyone, hope you're all keeping well. So sorry it's been a while since we last caught up. It is extremely rainy outside. Um, it is night time, my whole family has gone to bed and this is my best time to, to do this video for you all, to spend some time with you all. So today we're gonna to be talking about foundations. Foundation can be a minefield, especially if you haven't um, already explored the market for the different kind of foundations, if you've not landed on your color, if you've not landed on the type, it is a minefield. It took me years to figure out which type of foundation I like, which type of foundation my skin likes. Um, so it has been a long journey. Let's talk about firstly, the different types of foundations that are in the market is plenty. Each brand has got a variety of foundation types on them. So what do I mean by different types of foundation? I'm talking about um, I'm talking about liquid foundations. Some companies really excel in liquid foundations. And then you, you've got powder foundations in the market. They come in like a compact powder box and they come with a sponge and they are called as powder foundations. And there are some that are uh, stick foundations. So how they look is they come in a little tube and you need to pull them up. It looks like a little stick. It's a foundation stick. Um, these are foundation sticks. Um, again, a type of foundation. Then there are cream foundations. And those are, they, they can come in a tube. They can come in a box. Doesn't really matter. Um, but what they do is they, they come onto your skin like a little bit of a cream texture rather than liquid. Um, they pretty much do the same thing, to be honest with you. But I personally feel that the liquid foundation is definitely better to control. The liquid foundation is my personal favorite. And once you've landed on your foundation, so let's say liquid and medium coverage, the next challenge or the next decision you have to make in this is what is the applicator? Some of the big brands like, you know, your, you know, Armani's, Gucci's, um, all of these big brands or Chanel's even, um, if you go onto their websites and talk about how do you apply foundation, um, they all recommend using your fingers. They say fingers are the best way to apply foundation because you can feel the product, you can blend it in with your hands. And for many, many, many years, I was using my fingers to do my foundation. There's nothing wrong with it at all, whatsoever. But personally, I find that my fingers get dirty, then I have to wash it. It's just a drama. So I decided to go with um, foundation brushes. A, a few applicators are available in the market and I'll quickly talk you through them. You've got foundation brushes. They are flat, like, like this. Um, I don't know if you can see it. They're flat and they go on your skin like this. So when you take your liquid foundation and you apply them, it's quite easy to apply. It's quite nice. It helps and you can go into your crevices such as your nose, your eyes, under your eyes. So it's quite a nice um, one to have a foundation brush. And the other option you have is a beauty blender. A beauty blender comes like a sponge. It looks like a sponge. Um, it comes in variety of colors, variety of shapes. They all do pretty much the same thing. Uh, I don't know about you guys, right? But one trick that I learned pretty late in the day is that beauty blenders need to be wet before you apply product on your face. This is the same beauty blender, came from the same pack. I ran it under a tap of water and squeezed all the excess water out and then it grows double or triple in size. This is now ready for application. Why is it important that we use a wet sponge is a dry sponge, the minute you put the product in, it absorbs everything. I'll see if I can show you. I'll see if I can show you, right? It doesn't apply it quite as well. So this is a dry sponge. And then this is a dry sponge. If you just kind of apply it, it goes on fine. It works just fine, no problem at all. 
But what happens is you don't get the same amount of product to use. You don't get the same amount of product to use. So with that little bit, you were only able to cover this spot here. The opposite with, ignore the dirty bit, the opposite with a, uh, a wet sponge, um, same product, liquid foundation, it's going on a little bit of a dot. I'm taking the same amount, you can see a little dot there. Let's see if we can do it now. So using this side of my face, as you can see, I'm using a dab motion. It's very important to use a dab motion instead of a pull motion because then again you are pushing the product into the sponge rather than on your face. And on top of that, you know, you're pulling your skin, you're causing wrinkles and you're aging it quicker. So it's important to just dab. Okay. So as I'm dabbing, the same amount of product is covering more of my face as you can see. There we go. That same amount of product, I was able to cover most of my face. While with a dry sponge, I was only able to cover this much. That's a huge difference, right? The huge, the huge difference is your product goes much, much longer and it lasts much, much more longer when you use your beauty blender in the right way. Okay, so that's that. The next job of a foundation is to cover any blemishes or to even out your skin tone. So if you have different kinds of shades on your skin, for example, um, I do have discoloration here, upper lip problems, I do have that too. So that is why I use full coverage foundation. Um, so the trick I'm going to show you is the magic of a foundation. I'm taking a black lip pencil or an eyeliner, you can use it either way black lip liner is all the rage no distractions right what i'm going to do is draw a blemish on my skin I've created the blemishes whereby whereby it's not going to immediately go when i put the beauty blender in what i'm going to show you is the difference between um, a full coverage foundation. I'm also going to show you um, applying a powder foundation, which again gives you full coverage and a, a, a lighter coverage. So this one, this one is kind of a medium buildable one. So I'll just show you the difference really quickly. So you can, you can uh, make a decision on what's best for you. I'm taking my beauty blender again, because I do like it. Um, actually, why don't we take, we'll chop and change a bit. Why don't we take the, foundation brush in this instance. I'm putting my full coverage foundation here for a second. Okay. And I'm gonna just put it over my blemish. My blemish is gone. Now quickly what I'm gonna do is take my um, powder foundation which comes in a compact box I'm going to take this sponge that comes with it oh, ignore the mirror apologies okay and I'm going to take a wee bit and apply it on top it is a bit dark for me right? guys so ignore it um this one has covered it pretty well this one is doing a good enough job but it does need a second coat before my blemish completely disappears because you can still see that little round black thing there okay and then finally let's try with our with our medium coverage one um no, it's a scream apology so this is medium coverage one from body shop so I'm going to medium to full. I'm going to take a wee bit on my skin and this time we'll take a beauty blender. We'll take that one. So I don't know if you guys noticed when I poured it out, right? It's a bit more liquidy than the other one. So I'll show you in a second again. That's my beauty blender. Okay. It's not bad. Not bad. It's done a good job. Can go. 
a couple of dots and then it's 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 gone i can hardly see it you guys so full coverage my entire blemish is gone powder foundation it's covered my skin but you can still see a little black outline blemish that we've created medium coverage again i can't see anything because i built it up a couple of times um so there you go you guys foundation does magic for your skin and the reason i also took my darker shade powder foundation to show you is you can even change the color of your skin your skin tone um depending on your mood you know foundation can be used not just to cover up your blemishes and even up your skin tone it can even literally change the color of your skin entirely and one final thing i'm going to show you about color, changing the color of your skin is i'm going to take the cream foundation that i have um so it is did you see that can you see how it comes out it comes out like a cream it comes out like a cream this is Admani foundation i'm going to take my brush very quickly to show you because this is a lighter one so i'm going to show you the difference Once you've got your foundation this is when your skin is actually ready for the remainder of your makeup um, such as your bronzers which we're not going to talk about today and um, your concealers can go in after this point specifically focusing on your under eye area your upper lip area and and then and then your other things you know your lipsticks and all that and before you start loading up everything it's important to set your foundation you put your foundation on and then to set it, you can use anything like a translucent powder, widely available in the market, different brands do them, and they are available in different prices. Essentially, it's like a loose powder, and they all do the same thing. And to apply that, you need a really wide, bushy brush, <laughs> as we call it, dip it in, and it's, it's quite like white fluff. So if it's powder, just tap it lightly to get excess powder back in the can. Most of it is flying away. Anyway, so what you do when to set your face now is... Remember, we've got multiple types of foundation on our skin, so it is going to look a little bit uneven, you know. <laughs> But essentially, the job is just to set your product, so it's not everywhere. I hope you found this really useful. Thank you for this very informative video, Tina. So viewers, I hope you enjoyed this video and learned a thing or two about foundations today. If you're here for the first time in our channel, please take a moment to subscribe to our channel, like this video and share it among your friends. Until I see you in the next video, stay safe and take care.